The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Oh, Monday pod. Indeed. Hey, yo. Monday indeed. Indeed it is. Roll closer to the end of the year, 18th of November. Holy Eight shows to go for us. Shit. Five weeks till Christmas. Yeah. Is that what it is? More about. And how many shows left for the year, did you say? Did you say? Eight. Eight shows left. Yeah, eight. Um, I, I saw a lot of schoolies on the weekend. Did you? Yeah. Down in your neck of the woods. Down in, in surface. Yep. Uh, can I say, from my point of view, impeccably behaved. Right. I didn't see any dramas whatsoever. Yeah, but, I mean, hmm? you're, you're playing golf and fishing all weekend. Yeah, I was driving. I was driving. I drove through there twice. <laughs> I drove through surface twice. What were you going to see exactly? Yeah. But having said uh, having that, a good having time, said that, having a good time, you can uh, see Chris, him on the beach. Chris Jones' career mail says the schoolies get top marks for behaviour. So really? I'm presu- see? I'm presuming it'll be something about no arrests and all very low numbers of arrests, is it? Where is it? Yeah, hard to success. Uh, experiences have been amazing. Where's, yeah. the, where's the stats? Queensland Ambulance Service says 16 schoolies. Uh, one patient was taken to hospital. But, you know, f- for the most part, there's not even a talk of the police. Or any arrests, so that's good news, isn't it? Mm. Yes. So, uh, shout out to all the schoolies. I see him at, I saw him down the beach, like I went down the beach. You can see him down the beach, they're all getting into it. It's just yeah, having a good time. Just having fun. They're just having fun. Good on them. They Being deserve, young. They deserve it. I must say, though, when you see, like, I've got a lot of friends now with their kids finishing school, and it's you know, saying, so proud of you and congratulations. I mean, that's a bit much. I mean, it's pretty hard not to graduate from high school. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so proud of you. Like, oh, I was a bit of a dead shit, but you still roll through. Yeah, mm. buzz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, to not graduate. I mean, when I say, I'm not saying, oh, if you leave at grade 10, there's other I'm saying, if you go the whole way through grade 12 and get to the end and they go, oh, sorry, Ashley, uh, you didn't make it, buddy. Yeah. Like, there's something there's something wrong with you. Yes. You know what I mean? You yeah. can fail like, your exams. Everyone graduates. Yeah, you yeah, still yeah. graduate. Exactly, mm. exactly. You don't need a pass, Mike. You're just the dumbest in your class. Well, yeah. social media wasn't around when I finished school. But if, if it was, I doubt that my old man would have put a post up. <laughs> So, I would love to go back. So in proud time. of you. I would love to go yeah. back in time if your dad, and then go. Yeah, my old man's on Instagram. Like, if, like, your, <laughs> if your dad had like Instagram was, and and he was savvy to it when you were in grade twelve, it would have been a picture of you saying, "This has been the biggest waste of a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> yes. putting yes. his prick through a, a private school and his twin brother. He wasn't much bloody better. Who, who they didn't even at least was he worse? At least TSS allowed me to get what was back in those days a TE score. There well, was, Luke didn't even get that. There, there was a heap of them. Oh, they pushed him. There out was the a back. heap of them. Like before, because grade eleven, I guess, <laughs> I guess you started the like grade eleven and twelve. So in grade ten, we had like a big, a big exam where they really weeded out the wheat from the chart, mm. chafe, and all of the um, <laughs> all, all of the guys that didn't make the the cut went into yeah, this the- thing called business management. That's right. Which we quickly dubbed the B-team. <laughs> and they're, they're just known as a B-teamer. Um, you know, and and, the, so and their classes. marks did not count for the school aggregate. It's oh, they, yeah. they, like Barry it, was in it because it affects uh, Chutz. Him. Chutz was a B team. Luke was a B team. This is what they do. No, well, like Nudgy yeah. had a. Cat. How do they get around? Nudgy had cattle club. Oh, the They'd literally send them down and milk the cows and stuff. How does go, it not get hey, Lutzi, why are you in the cattle club? You've never been to the country so, in your life. Because they had a, it was, I forget what the name of the exam was, but they had an exam which then went, okay, that's where the school fits on the whole spectrum of schools yeah. across Australia. So if you had too many dumb kids doing that exam, it drags the it schools. drags it down. So instead of getting an OP10, you'd get an OP12. Yes. Instead of getting so it, you, it would affect, it'd yeah, affect yeah. the it other schools. Like it happened in my school, but we, we, I don't know if we ever had an option to take kids out of the exam at the end because I had a HSC Well, when I, I guess I was... those kids were quite unquote sick that day. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's shenanigans afoot. Oh, interesting. But, but I will say something. Please um, do. That uh, when all is said and done, uh, probably... The single wealthiest guy that came from our grade, mm-hmm. yeah, was the dumbest. Is a B teamer. Yeah, my, my, me uh, too. Ross, what, like, my, like he dead said, he's he's yeah. worth a squill, a squill, yeah. hundreds and hundreds of millions. Of I'm dollars. quite happy to put uh, Phil Lee under the bus here and say he was dumber than a box of hammers, and then and then he, he used those he box used of those hammers, hammers yes. and, and and just turned build, over yep. houses and was worth a lot of money. Do yeah. they actually Phil learn it. business management in that? 
Or was that just like there? Yeah, but it but, was you know, so. Oh, but you know, was, you're talking about your mate Ross. Yeah, but, but I don't well, know. I tell you what, yeah. and you did this as well. I did maths. They called it maths in society. We called it maths in space. Maths in space. Maths in the sandpit. I, I, maths I, in the I, sandpit. <laughs> I, I genuinely learned something. You, know, you learn about shares yeah. and stuff, yeah, yeah. as opposed to physics and algebra, algebra, yeah. algebra and that sort of crap, which you know was well and truly beyond me. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah. I, don't, I don't think officially I was B team though. Yeah. But still, like considering that, like my TE score was uh, disgra- disgrazia, mm. disgrazia. Could you? What did you get? Five eighty. Five ninety. Five. I got five. I, brother I got, got. My brother I, got that. I got. There was three of us that me, Regs, and Smithy that went through like all the school together and sat there, like just stuffing around every class. Regs got five eighty. I got five nine. What's it out of, or what's the best? Nine ninety. Nine ninety. Oh, if you got nine ninety, the lowest, 90, is, that was the lowest the is like five fifty. Yeah, think. I mean right. that's as low as that's it, like fifty percent. Why don't you be five eighty? Yeah, I'll, I'll never <laughs> forget. I, I truly will never forget when um, when I got my TE score. They sent it out in a in in a newsletter. Uh, you know, in a in, thing. In, like a I'd thing. been out. I'd been out with my mate Meso at a Wonga Dam uh, water skiing all weekend, mm. and then. My mum, for some reason, I was working out the back of the factory. My mum picked me up from Oxenford on the side of the highway at like six o'clock in the morning to take me to work at the window factory, right? And for some reason, my sister was in the car. And of course, she was a brainiac. The year before, she'd graduated from her school and got like a really good TE score, 900 and something. Mm. And in my head, I knew that it was going to be bad. But because <laughs> but, I knew it was going to be bad, but... To me, bad would have been like seven fifty. Huh. You know, like a middle of the road bad, like Average. like in the middle of the bell curve, yep. sort of seven fifty. And you couldn't deflect to Luke because Luke wasn't even in the running. Luke was Luke, he, he'd already been established that he was a half wit. Yeah, but but it, Luke was a half wit, but because he was in the B team, <laughs> yeah, it was like it doesn't but, matter. But he won an award. Yeah, like yeah, him yeah. and Chuts won yeah. some award. Yeah, like, I, I got they a, actually got they got dragged up there with like yeah. the ducks of the school because they yeah. won some B team award. Yeah, I got some. a VHA in yeah. Maths and Society. Yes, yeah. and um, anyway, so I'm expecting like a seven fifty. I hop in the car, and evidently the mail had turned up like the Friday before, or whatever, and they're desperate to give me my TE score, and I'm like, oh my god! So I'm sitting in the car, Petters in the front, Mum's in the back. Hey, your TE score arrived. You have to like rip it open and stuff. Like with them in the car, I opened it up and I'm going, I'm I'm going, please be about 750. Please be about. (laughs) Oh, look, and it was 590. Like, Like not even in the 600. If you didn't turn up, you'd get 560. Yeah. Like, you know, if you never went to a class. And they're going, what'd you get? What'd you get? And I just, I just (laughs) handed the. 950. I handed the sheet and then my sister. And my sister with like. The, the most concern she's ever shown, I think, ever <laughs> towards like, me in my life. <gasps> Hand over the mouth, like, like there's just been this terrible action. Shame. Fast forward thirty seconds. Uh, there's my mum and my sister in the front seat of the car, both of them in tears, <laughs> <laughs> bawling. Oh my bawling. god! They can't believe it. What? And I'm, like, I'm there. They're going. I don't want to go to uni anyway. What difference does it make? And I was working in the back good, good of their point. window factory that day. Anyway, I'm walking around. I couldn't believe it. I went into it like a deep depression that day because I couldn't believe <laughs> five nine. And I'm going, I wonder what Brendan Ead got. Like maybe I didn't even beat Brendan Ead. And and like, and, uh, <laughs> and one of the guys, do you know Hux? Jeff Hux. Oh, Hux yeah. I played with him at North yeah, Shore. So yeah. he's working out the back of the factory too, which great guy. But it's not like where you want to be is the back of a window <laughs> factory at Eagle Farm. It's February. It's like 35 degrees. degrees. Yeah. It's as hot as all hell. And I'm sitting there pro- processing aluminium and, he, and he's like, what's wrong? And I went, I went, oh, man, I, I got my TE score this morning. Um and it's bad, man. Uh, and he goes, "What'd you get?" And I went, "Ah, oh, I'm embarrassed to tell you. I, I, I got a five ninety. And Hux starts laughing and goes, "Hey, I got a five ninety. <laughs> it doesn't help. Us. It's, like, yeah. it's like, yeah, I've found my level. Like I've found my people. <laughs> this, this is exactly where I'm meant to be. 
<laughs> were, they, were they ever made public? Because I have a recollection when I got my HSC Five results, 90. they're published in a paper. I think they are. And you get the paper. Oh. You get the paper before you get the official slip sent to your house. So on HSC day, you'd go out. You get the. It was Express Advocate for us. You go out. You get the paper, and you'd be flicking through the paper, and you'd be trying to find your name. I think it is. Lined up against. I remember something was in the paper when well, I That'd be the ultimate humiliation. Yeah, well, it, yeah it is. Five <laughs> eighty club. Anton Ardvark gets maybe be the first one too. <laughs> it's yeah. a five ten. <laughs> Ardvark, you dumb shit. <laughs> it's on page one. It's on the front page. Front page. Anton Ardvark and, and other results. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast.